Welcome back to my channel. I'm Alma and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Depop. And today I'm going to have a huge thrift haul, garage sale haul for you guys. Um, I took advantage of all of the 4th of July specials that all the thrift stores had today. I may have done a little too much thrifting. Is there such a thing? But anyway, so this is going to be a, a big haul. So please uh, put me on the background list while you're uh, listening to me and it's a very exciting um haul i you obviously know that i found one of my bolos by the thumbnail so anyway how are you guys doing are you guys enjoying all the sales that's going on this weekend on all of the favorite thrift stores um let me know below if you guys found some gems or um anyway are you guys enjoying any outdoor activities it i think it reached 100 degrees in my area guys it is so hot, so excuse the appearance. I just got home from doing all of my thrifting. So I am going to, I was excited to actually show you guys. This is Winnie, my puppy. And this is Murphy, come here Murphy, come say hi. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so I, I can't wait to share the gems with you guys today, okay? So let's go ahead and begin. Um, so it's going to be a long one. I am surrounded. You probably can't tell, but I am surrounded by just stuff. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a few garage sale finds, okay? So these are some Ugg sandals. Not anything exciting or whatnot, but she wanted two bucks for these, and they're almost brand new. She said she hardly ever wore them. They don't feel like leather for you know to me, but that's okay. They're a women's nine. says made in China, so... Um, yeah, I, why not pick those up? These were also, uh, these were actually at the thrift store. They are some Chacos. They are, they are tiny size. If you guys didn't know, the Choco size is in the back there. So it was half off today. So four bucks. So these were $2 as well. And I mentioned to you guys on my last video that, uh, my what sold that I found some Kizzix, you guys. Not joking. This is what my thrift store prices them at you guys can you guys see three dollars for these Kizzix they almost look brand new and I found two pair I want to say these are a men's 12 or a women's 13 and a half three dollars for Kizzix so and these are huge bolo if you guys have never found them keep your eye out for those oh and here's the other pair Look at the tags on these. $3 for the Kizzix. Unbelievable. They look amazing. It was obviously the same person. Yep, a men's 12 or a women's 13 and a half. They look kind of like the Vans, but anyway, yeah, two pair. Gosh, I hit the jackpot there. These, I don't know. Um, probably should have picked them up, but again, just at three bucks. My store prices them at. There's some Nike free women's nines. Again, maybe 15 to 20 bucks on these. I didn't think that they were anything special, but for three bucks. Um, and I don't think that those were half off. No. Okay, how about these, you guys? These look brand new. They're like some vans, they look leather. $3. Look at that. I can't believe that somebody just, I just lucked out. I think it was the same person with the Kizzix, size 12, amazing. I think they are like, no, I think they're black, but I hit the jackpot there. These, I picked them up. Okay, there's no brand, but it's, I know it's like rodeo season. These were $3. Leather boots, they're a size eight. They say Vibram. Is it Vibram or Vibram? I have no idea how you say that. But there's no brand. I've tried to look unless it's wore off or it's somebody somewhere deep in there. But for three bucks, I mean, if I can't find a brand, I would say 25 to 30. There, so they're a women's aid. So at least that they have the, um, the uh, size on there. You guys, this has been at the thrift store for so long. And it's a Cole Haan. It's a red leather um, purse and nobody's picked it up. It's been there for weeks and this little, it was initially marked at, I think it was $3. Nobody bought it, but now there's a stamp on there. So it was a dollar now and half off today, 50 cents. 
and it feels really like a really great material and nobody picked it up so i just decided to go ahead and grab it okay the this next purse is also a garage i got, actually got these two for five bucks so this is uh, this little heart right here this is brighton to brighten like a straw purse the inside looks clean there's the brighton tag and then this was the fossil it was the same garage sale it has the key so initially she's like oh three bucks each or you can have them both for five dollars i don't really i mean there's not like a huge score but i went ahead and grabbed them anyway so i'm not sure if i should have or not okay these are for me I don't know what size they are. So these are gym sharks. They have a little ruching on the booty, but they look like they're a small. Um, I think on gym shark they have like the size on the um, inside of the pant leg. But okay, yeah, but it's cut off. So anyway, they look like a camo. So I don't plan to sell these. These are for me. Oh goodness, where is that? Okay. I think I'm going to be covering that. I might as well go ahead and tell you guys what I found. Uh, this is obviously Lululemon. Um, so I went to this garage sale and I could not believe that I found four new with tags Lululemon. So this guy said that a half an hour earlier, the one that was holding the garage sale, that his wife had so many of these out, but I am not sure how these were missed. $98 tag. These are the Align. They're a size four. So I found two of the same exact pair. $98. So I'm going to have keep one for me and one for my daughter. And then they also had the Lululemon. These are $118. And these are the Scuba HR Relaxed um, joggers. I was going to keep one for myself and one for my daughter but I didn't like the way they looked at me, so I'm gonna give them both to her. But you guys, $4 a pop, that's all he wanted. I don't know if the other people didn't see the, these because I would not have left them. He, no, there's no way, but he, he claims that they took them all that they just didn't see these. So four new with tags, a little lemon. This is, would cost you $400 at obviously the store. Um, and I know, because I bought my daughter Think just two pair yeah i don't buy her a ton there but there's some pants that she wanted but 115 120 dollars so those four pair unbelievable for 16 dollars. so what a home run that already made my day at the same garage sale okay so they he wanted some he had some spanks there that his obviously they were his wife's these i've never no i have i found spanks but not like the undergarment I found like the jeans or um, did I find a tank top once? But anyway, so Spanx. All right, hear me out on this one. I have to look these up. Okay, so they, these are Elf. It's a, it's a set. They feel super high quality, you guys. And they are new with tags. This is like $19.98. And this one has a price of $39.99. So it's Shoe, Shoe Palace, Elf Holiday Shoe Palace. So I picked these up. So for four bucks, it's a set. I'm gonna lot them up together. I wanna look that up to see what they are worth. But with new with tags, I just didn't have the heart to leave them behind. All right blank is this blank nyc okay same garage sale i hit a jackpot there so there wasn't too many garage sales either because people are out uh, camping for the holiday weekend so this is a blank nyc jacket this is suede but as you can see this is new with tags i normally do not pick up this brand new with tags this still has like the little paper over the buttons feels super high quality i think this is might be my size it's a medium maybe a little bit too big this moto jacket but for four bucks that looks cute actually that's actually my size i think this medium fits me but i'm gonna sell it but anyway so 
four bucks for that. So that was unbelievable. I, again, I can't express to you guys what the quality of this Blink NYC. And again, I got it because it was suede, new with tags, and I want to say maybe $50 to $75 for that. Okay, I don't normally pick up this brand, but these were some Calvin Klein Slim Fit Pants, and there were two. These are for men, two pair. They were $2.50 a piece, so two for five bucks. They don't feel like they've ever been washed. So maybe I can lot them both up for $40 to $50. That's the only reason. And on a half off day, they were side by side. So I grabbed this. I'm not saying to go out and, and grab Calvin Klein. Absolutely not. But you can't um, beat that price. This I had to get. This looks vintage to me. And it's like a beaded, beautiful purse, new with tags. It was five bucks, but half off today was $2.50. I want to say I saw the Mervyn's. Yep, I did. I sure did. The Mervyn's tag. And obviously, you guys know that Bert, that Mervyn's is not in business anymore. But it's the Hillard & Hansen. Beautiful beading. I love this little bag. Couldn't pass that up. I think that that's going to do really good um, on Depop. I want to say that's where I'm going to post it first. But just the detailing is so beautiful on this. Um, I don't know what to list it for. Maybe $25 to $30. So leave a comment below what you guys are doing this weekend. What are you guys up to? Did you guys go camping? Okay, the next few pairs of shoes are from a thrift store. They were $10 and half off. You guys probably know that symbol there. Those are Alegria. Have you guys ever seen like the slippers? And what's driving me crazy, so these were 10, half off five. What's driving me crazy is that I don't see a size on them, but they were right next to these other ones, which were also five bucks. They had been marked down a couple of times, a couple of stickers on there. So they're finally marked down to uh, 10 bucks and half off of that. I want to say it's the same. So these are size 42, a large size. I don't know what the, I got to do the chart, the chart conversion to see what it is. But I may have to look a little deeper, but have you guys ever seen this Alegria um, slippers? So two great finds, $5 a pop. They hardly look worn, check that out. Great, 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 great brand, comfort brand. So I grabbed those, I was, and you guys actually, they had two more pair of the sandals. They had a red pair and like a black one. I just didn't grab them all. I had already grabbed so much stuff, you guys, so I couldn't do that. This is a great brand. You guys, Nayot. These were $7 here. I'm going to polish them up with the Wonder Balsam. Nayot is a great, great brand. So these were $7. And I believe this store had the 25% off. So maybe about 5 bucks I paid for these. Okay, these were garage sale. Okay. The guy wanted $25 for these they're they're so big and heavy the soles look amazing these are uh what are they red wing i saw that brand in there somewhere but anyway they're red wing pecos p-e-c-o-s and i was trying to look for the size for my dear life and i could not find it but they're actually it's a they're where was it i saw it back here it's a 13 e it's on the outside of the leather because I got home and I was stressing. I was like, oh my goodness, they don't have a size. Anyway, so he wanted 25, offered him 15, and he took it. These are super high quality. Red Wing is a great brand. And a size 13 and an E, so that's awesome. And honestly, you guys, check out the bottoms. I don't know why there's hardly any wear at all. Well, maybe a little bit on the heel, but Vibram soles. I'm obviously going to put all of that on the... Um, on the title, let's see what else I have here. Oh, I always pick up pants for me for work. Nothing special. Okay, these were actually Lululemon. I got these at Salvation Army for $2.99. Um, I just, I couldn't find the size anywhere. Oh, no, not the size, the logo. But anyway, it was like here on the leg. I don't know if you guys could see that Lululemon. I think I'm gonna put in my pile as well, and they were actually a size four. So I'm gonna keep these for me. This is also a garage sale find. And it's a little dirty, so I'm actually gonna wash it. So this is a Carhartt. 
hoodie. Actually, no, this is not a garage sale. This was actually $5 and it's a 2XL um, hoodie and it said something like Rain Defender. Have you guys seen that before on Carhartt? So yeah, so it's a beautiful, uh, thick hoodie and I'm just gonna give it a good wash. I think there's a couple of stains on that, but you guys know with Carhartt, um, it doesn't matter. People just use it like, you know, for work. Speaking of Carhartt, okay, I, same garage sale. I got this super beat up Carhartt. He only wanted a dollar because it's super stained. You see all of that? It's like paint, but I'm still gonna put it through the wash. But with Carhartt, like I said, it doesn't matter. And this is a Carhartt, um, well, that's gonna be a problem because I don't see a size on this jacket. Oh no, I don't know. I'll take measurements. And since it's missing the size, I'm, and it's really like stained with paint, maybe I'll do 25 or 30 bucks. But I never shy away from Carhartt. I don't care if it has stains. As long as the price is right, I will go ahead and pick that up. Where I got all the Lululemon uh, pants and I got that elf uh, outfit as well, I found three Victoria's Secret pajama sets. Check these out. They have Victoria's Secret mediums and they have a tag of $54.50 brand spanking new, all three of them. So four bucks a pop, of course I picked that up. Had they not been new, I would not have picked them up at all uh, because it doesn't sell as great for me. This was also at the same one, this uh, little, I wish these were my size, but they're not. They're just little uh, shorts, like pajama shorts almost. These have a re uh, retail of $26.50. So maybe I'll put these up for $15 or so. Same garage sale, North Face, Denali, whatever, E-tip glove or something like that. Um, I'm not sure what these would go for, maybe 20 or 25. I got that there. This is probably a mistake at that garage sale. It was only a couple of bucks, but Lulu's, and it wasn't even new. I don't know why I got this, you guys. It's just a green, like a zip up, like little um, sweater. Does it have a, no, it just, I don't know if it's missing. I don't know. But anyway, it's like a little, just a little sweater. I should not have got that. Same garage sale, a Jan Sport, new with tags. And it's not a huge one, but it was brand new with tags. I think he only wanted three or four bucks. And okay, at the same garage sale, you guys, I'm, I'm from Nevada. And he had this collection of books, um, like early Reno, um, early Carson City. These are just like surrounding cities, um, images of Washoe County, Rust, Lake Tahoe's rustic archit architecture, Reno's River, River Walk District. So all these cool books, he gave them all to me for $10. Each one of them, you guys, have a price about $20 to $25 a pop. Excellent condition. And there's like, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 12 or 13 books. I may lock them up. I have to do comps, but maybe for $175 because these all have a great resale price. And it's just like a whole collection of them. So that was a great price. I also found, and they're in my car, so I just wanted, didn't want to bring them up there, but they're like the Nordic track. Is it Nordic track like those little uh, dumbbells that they are adjustable weights? I think they go up to 15 pounds, and I got a set of those for 15 bucks. I'm thinking about putting those on Mercari um, and maybe putting them up for like $75 as well. Um, so yeah, because I don't need them. I already have my own, but that was a great little score for five bucks some shorts here these were two dollars and the reason i got these is they're 501 you want to look at that um levi's premium and they also have the big e on the back of these sh can you guys see that hold on a second i don't know if you guys can see that but anyway it's a big e these are button fly hidden bun fly and they are a great size. What were they? Oh, what are they, you guys? I'm not gonna, okay, what are you? 
anyway, I'll look for it later. But regardless, this was a two bucks, four dollars, half off. So they're Distress Levi's. I picked those up. Um, I don't know because I could get fifteen to twenty bucks. One teaspoon. I found those for two dollars. They're a great size as well. These are a. I'm just not having good luck with my sizes. I don't have time to look for to look for them. But anyway, so for two bucks, I got those. I'll have to see if they're the same size because I don't know. I might just lock them up together. Not the season, but I got it. This was eight dollars half off. This is an LL Bean a women's medium regular, like a raincoat. Would you guys have picked this up for four bucks? It's nothing special, but for four dollars, I picked that up. And okay, in a couple of great scores, check this out, you guys. A Doc Martin iridescent. This was priced at the thrift store for eighteen dollars. So I may keep this for a little while and then maybe sell it or sell it online real quick. I think I saw a sold comp for this for 200 bucks, I want to say. So I don't know. I may just list it. So this was a huge score. And okay, what else do I have here? I already showed you guys that. Let's keep going. I told you guys this is going to be long. Okay, this was, I think I'm going to keep this for me for the winter marmot um, little flannel and the reason i got it you guys it's new with tags and it has a retail price of 60 bucks Let's see there you go 60 dollars uh, this is my favorite color and i'm thinking this is in my pile for the winter months what else did i get i seriously forgot a lot of the stuff that i already got okay spider a men's extra large five bucks half off 250 perfect this is about 25 to 30 bucks it's just a men's like quarter zip hoodie i mean a hoodie just a a little sweater okay that's for me for work i'll put that aside okay these i just got a couple of tank tops for me for working out and stuff like that i am getting to the bottom oh let me show you guys my uh thumbnail i told you guys i found agua bendita it wasn't the dress or anything like that but you guys check your bathing suits uh the rack i hardly ever do so this was a two-piece for eight dollars half off so i was just looking through the swimsuits because at this one store i wasn't finding a ton you guys and i forget what this bathing suit what the style is called but here's the tag agua bendita is the tag i cannot believe it. i know that the dresses could sell for like 800 to a thousand dollars but hey this was my on my bolo list and I can say I found Agua, Agua Bendita. So I think I saw one of these bikinis sell for like $150. So I can officially say and like check this off of my bolo list. So anyway, a super that was pumped up for that because I just kind of like, I don't really check the bathing suit area, but I need to start doing that because I didn't even know, I don't know a ton about that brand. I know um jack and ryan always talk about that brand and that's why i'm always on the lookout for it and i found it so anyway huge huge score for me i am so excited to get that listed almost done okay these aren't my okay i found some docs you guys this is not my favorite these were five bucks half off they're not even made in england or anything like that i think these are a men's uh, nine I'm gonna just polish them up, put these up for, I don't know, 25 or 30 bucks. But I found Docs. These were also four bucks, you guys. They're Skechers, Skechers sell. They had some bling, half off, so 250 for these. Pick those up. And getting to the end, just a couple of more pairs of shoes. Okay, these were only $7, okay? But the brand is uh, Floor Shine. I don't always pick up floor shine because I know they have like a lot of the Oxfords for men. I, if they were been the regular Oxfords, I would not pick them up. But the boot, like the Chelsea boot, I don't even call this a Chelsea boot, I don't know. But these looked seriously like they were just worn one time. So I'll clean them up. And I want to say these had amazing comps. Um, these, uh, this is a, their leather upper, leather lining, leather sole, made in India, men's uh 13 
E E triple E. That's awesome. Great size, you guys. So I picked those up again only because they were boots. Echo's a great brand, also, you guys. I picked these up. The soles look awesome. They were 10 bucks with half off, so that was five dollars. Echo sells for me. They're a size 44. I'm gonna really polish them up. They're in excellent use condition. Getting to the end. Oh, this was a cool find. I, I'm keeping this for me. You guys know what this is? This is Lulu Lemon. See the little, it's a little jacket back. Little light jacket. I don't know what size it is. Oh, the Lulu Lemon logo is also in here. It's a little hoodie. Let me see if it fits me. I didn't even try it on. My daughter didn't want it. I tried to give it to her, but she did not want it. But I may just have to keep it for myself. Oh, that might fit me pretty good. So I did find a lot of Lululemon pieces. I, I am always, always, always looking for those. You know what? I am keeping this for me. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a little bit big on me or whatnot, but I'm keeping this for me. Hope the lighting is okay, by the way, you guys. I'm filming by the window. I'm going to put that in my pile. The last is all anything like a grand finale. Actually, no, I have another little bag. Okay. You guys, so this tag looks interesting for a minute. I thought it was Johnny was, but it's not. These Levi's are people for peace. Uh, USA made, guaranteed. But anyway, there was embroidery on the bum. It just looked cool. The tag looked cool. It prompted me to look at the comps. Oh, okay, they have a little bit of of a hem like what do you call it drag he drag heel is it drag drag on the hem <laughs> i can think of the word but anyway so the front looks interesting i don't know 25 to 30 bucks these are five dollars so i don't know if that was a mistake or not and okay i do not know why i got this because i've sold weird bathing suits before the last time i sold one on poshmark it was like the human organs and that one sold for full price for like 44 bucks and so i saw this <laughs> i initially texted my daughter because she loves her flaming hot cheetos i'm like look what i bought you madison so this is a bathing suit she's like i am not wearing that this was four bucks it's a size small so just weird stuff sells so i don't know 25 to 30 bucks i'm going to put this up really quick but the tag looks pretty cool look at that so anyway and um that's that and the last sale actually do i have another oh this was really cool this was in the boutique section so this was 13 dollars with half with not half off 25 percent off this disney jacket and this is a size large so i think i saw a sold comp for like 60 bucks on this you guys how cute is that i totally love that and I think it's vintage. The tag looks kind of vintage. Let me see. I got. I always have to try on everything. I should. I should stop trying on stuff because I just end up wanting to keep it. So anyway, I'm not going to keep it. But no, it's too big. Definitely too big. But anyway, so that was a great score, Disney. I don't pick up everything Disney either. That one just looked really cool. I looked at the comps in the store. And yeah, so the last last thing for sure is a what is it called Ooh, i cannot read the tag but anyway look at this shirt let me see who it is ted nugent and it says on the back 1995 like the tours of the tour dates spirit of the wild 99 and i want to say this also had pretty cool i know i don't know a lot about t-shirts or vintage shirts i know that this is not a single stitch that's what to look out for this is just a double stitch but i want to say this had cool comps maybe a 50 dollar comp that i saw out there so that was it i think this has been my longest oh one more thing <laughs> sorry you guys at that same garage sale that i scored the lulus and those books and everything else he had this in the box john deere this what is it uh class three rain suit it's never it's obviously open but it's actually it's brand new it doesn't even look like it's been pulled out or anything like that i think i saw soul comes for like 40 bucks or so 
So anyway, a little bit out of my comfort zone, just, you know, I don't have a ton of investments, so I can go ahead and take risks. I love, love thrifting, garage selling, now the hard work begins, like not the so fun part, which is the listing part. But I have a lot to do this weekend, a lot of washing, a lot of just trying to just catch up here on my listings. Leave me a comment below as to what was the favorite thing that I found that you guys liked the most. Um, I hope you guys are doing good. And I had a few new subscribers to my channel, so I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you for my returning subscribers my, uh, and my um, new subscribers. I totally appreciate you guys. Please share my video, like, subscribe. I love doing this kind of content for you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.